In the last video we created an update query. In this one we're going to look at how to actually run it um, by clicking on button. The first thing we need to do is to create a button. Now this could be a button you've already created. Uh, you may have already put some um, macros on it already. I'm going to create one from scratch uh, just to remind you about how to create macros. So I'm going to create a button. I cancel the wizard and I'm going to name this. I'm going to call it save record. I'm then going to click on it and name it. So I'm going to call this save and update because that's exactly what I'm going to do. And finally, I go to event on click and choose macro builder. As you remember, the macro builder allows me to run specific commands. So the first thing I need to do is to run that query. Now, to run a query, you scroll down and go to open query. You then select the query you want to run, in this case, update query. You then select the view you want to see it in. And date sheet is the correct one. And then where it says data mode, you can choose which mode you want. So, this is going to be read only. I then, underneath it, I'm going to run a, another command which is to save a record. Save the record and finally I'm going to print off a message box. find it, there is a message box, and say your record has been saved. Your record has been saved. And it is as simple as that. So open query will allow me to open up any query. Now it could be any type of query, it doesn't have to be an update query, in this case obviously it is. Uh, message box we've already seen before and uh, we've obviously seen the saved record before as well. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to go to the form view and I'm going to just show you how this works. So I'm going to choose um, a user, I'm going to choose a product name, I'm going to choose a payment amount, I'm then going to set quantity, and I'm going to click on save record. It then comes up with this message, I'm going to say yes I do. It wants to update one row, I'm happy with that and then my record has been saved. And that's it.